Hi, I'm Rico from Flight Process Training, and in this series, I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to get the most out of dealer socket. This is Socket Hacks. I don't recommend anyone regularly mass deleting tasks, but on occasion, you may be asked to do so. In this module, I will walk you through the correct steps to perform this procedure so you don't accidentally delete more than you should. To access the area to bulk delete activities, you need to be in the admin menu and have admin permissions. Click on dealership data and then select bulk activity delete undelete. The page that opens up for you allows you to be very precise with the criteria that will build a list of activities that can be mass deleted. For this example, I'm going to create a list of all past due tasks for my sales teams so I can remove unnecessary clutter from their opportunities. There are only three things I would need to do to accomplish this. One, select all users from the assigned to menu which should already be your default value. Two, change the status dropdown from all statuses to open because you really don't want to delete any completed tasks from the opportunity timeline. And three, define a date range. Anytime you're building a list or filtering criteria, it is always recommended that you refresh the list by clicking on search and then waiting for the page to reload. This step is particularly important when you need to delete more than a thousand tasks as this functionality can only process a thousand items at a time. We'll talk more about why this is important in a moment. Make sure delete is selected at the top and click delete list from activities when you're ready. The system will prompt you a final time before processing the bulk activity delete and give you the opportunity to confirm or go back and make changes before proceeding. Once the request is finalized, you will see a banner at the top stating how many activities were deleted, followed by the page auto reloading and populating with a new list. But there's a problem. When the page refreshes, it also changes the status drop down menu back to the default value of all statuses. And if you weren't paying attention and clicked on the green delete button, you would have deleted all statuses. And you don't want to do that, it's a lot of valuable data being destroyed. What you need to do is to fight the urge to click the green delete button and refresh your list by clicking the status drop down and selecting open before clicking on search to create the new list. That's your socket hack. After verifying that the list looks good, you can click the delete button. Just a quick note that you'll probably have to repeat these steps multiple times to delete a larger list. And you'll know when you're done when your search criteria returns a zero for total rows. Thanks for watching this video and please consider watching the other videos in this series as the goal here is to empower you with the knowledge so you can make good decisions with your CRM. Yeah.